Hi friends, this weekend Dee and I are going to New York for the Shorty Awards where I am nominated for YouTube Comedian of the Year. Spoiler alert I didn't win. LOL. Today's video begins at 4.32am and I am feeling far too good for a girl running on no sleep. of our hotel room. <laughs> On today's episode of what happens when we leave the house, <laughs> crazy things keep happening. We haven't even been in New York for like an hour and already we leave the airport just chugging along in our taxi having a grand old time when all of a sudden we get a little tap on the taxi door. It's a police officer. Turns out that there was a checkpoint. I didn't even see it so I just assumed that our taxi man didn't see it. Did you see it? No. I was blissfully <laughs> unaware until the cop knocked on the window and said, Pull over. Except in a New York accent, which I wish I could do. Oh, me too. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> Us in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> so at this point, everything still seems fine. Like inconvenient, sure, but okie dokie. A good one minute later, three police officers come charging up to the car. <laughs> T and I are like, and they tell the driver to get out. All of a sudden, I just see our beloved taxi man's arms going behind his back. We're like, what do we do? Are we part of this? Are we in trouble? And so I open the van door and then I get yelled at. And we're like, oh okay, God. sorry. <laughs> they all got so mad. We had a nice little good cop, bad cop situation. Then the good cop realized, he's like, oh, is this a taxi? You guys were taxiing? And we're like, yeah, we just, just trying to get to our hotel. <laughs> Just all the cops started laughing and they're like, welcome to New York, let's get you a taxi, an actual taxi and get you to your hotel. And we're lecturing us saying, you don't know where this man could have taken you. Okay, I don't know where you could take me either, sir. Like you just don't know who's a good guy, who's a bad guy, who walks amongst us. Do you hear that? Like background ambiance? <laughs> Just police sirens. <laughs> They're on the lookout for us. To make a long story short, our taxi driver from the airport wasn't a real taxi driver and so he got arrested right before our eyes. I now know that taxi drivers are never supposed to approach you and ask if you need a ride. You are only supposed to approach them. Lesson learned. In polar opposite news. Once D and I finally arrived at our hotel thanks to our second taxi driver, out of nowhere the gentleman who worked at the front desk hooked us up and upgraded our room to the top floor for no reason. We are so high up. I've never seen what life looks like from this perspective. Yeah, the first thing I did was get onto the table to look over. <laughs> you sure <laughs> did. It makes my tummy drop every time. It was pretty cool. I can't imagine having to clean these windows. That's so scary. <laughs> so, heroes don't wear games. Oh I mean, gosh. not all heroes are games. <laughs> I think we need to get dinner. Where? Everybody keeps asking us, what are your plans? And we're like, we go with the flow. Uh -huh. And that bothers New York people so much. They, they say you can't do that in New York, you silly gooses. So we're about to have our worlds rocked. We already have. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, to New Welcome to New York. Who did you find? A Mexican restaurant open till 1 a.m. and it has vegan options. Wow. I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> can't wait to get some guac. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Can I order a margarita, please? Are you serious? <laughs> a margarita, please. Are you serious? <laughs> and now please enjoy the following segment with captions thanks to f copyright reasons. Smiley face.
A couple tacos and margaritas later D and I were feeling satisfied and sleepy so we knocked out around 3 am. Why my body decided to wake up 3 and a half hours later I am not sure. I did not realize that the same author of Fifty Shades wrote this food menu. Listen to this. Wake up breakfast menu. Arouse. Satisfy. Yeah, can I have some arousal with some satisfaction, please? They have carrot juice if you're interested. I can't say that I am. No, it's coffee. Ugh, I'm getting hot and bothered. <laughs> Whoa, sis. It's too early for an exorcism. <laughs> it's never too early for that. I need an exorcist on this canker score. Um, story time, on my birthday, I accidentally bit my lip. And then the next day, I accidentally bit it in the same exact spot. And whenever I bite my lip, my lip does this fun thing where it gets a gnarly canker sore and it's getting in the way of my talking and smiling and eating, but we are thriving nonetheless. Oh my gosh, you know what we forgot to talk about yesterday? I am in the airport waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting for Dee because she went to go buy a water at the gift shop. I look up. Kim Kardashian's best friend, Jonathan, he was there in the flesh. Started dying laughing because I couldn't wait to tell Dee. And I whip out my phone and I text her. <laughs> Dee texts back immediately and just caps, running. <laughs> I turn around to see Dee dead ass running. <laughs> I was laughing so hard that people were turning around and looking at me. I couldn't stop laughing. That was so funny. Are we surprised? <laughs> A couple pieces of toast later it was time to get ready for the day. No, that'd be fun. Okay. We're gonna go out on the town. There's, I'm. Um, Forever 21, like right there. Oh yeah, I remember seeing it. So Dee and I are gonna scoop her up a jacket from Forever 21. We're also going to try and scoop up some numbing medicine just so I can live my life again. I'm supposed to do a dinner tonight and I'm not sure how to eat. I've recently been eating like a baby bird. <laughs> it's still, there's still light outside. Early birds are getting the worms. <laughs> <laughs> for the first time in our lives. For the first time in forever. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people. <laughs> Back at the hotel, not much got recorded outside of the hotel because we went out there and there's there's a mob of people. There's no time to pull out your phone because you're focusing on not pissing people off. It was suddenly time for the dinner with my manager, Cassie. We hustle our bustles on over there. Yeah. She fills us up with alcohol. And because of my lip situation, I got soup. So picture this, I've had nothing but liquids. And then there's an app. There. So there's a cocktail party tonight. I, okay, let's not slur. There's a cocktail party tonight. The earth. <laughs> I can just go like this with my pants on then. <laughs> What's going on here? <gasps> You're doing your hair? Will someone tell her to do my hair? Yeah. Picture this, I fell asleep for a whole minute <laughs> and then I just laughed myself awake. Yeah, you did. I randomly spired. <laughs> Take a walk. Take a walk. <laughs>
exactly one cocktail. Honestly, it tasted like salt and sweat. It literally tasted like a cock and a tail. Oh my gosh. Oh. Hi, baby. That was fun. I mingled. Not with like singles, but. But first, we're gonna get Em some food because she hasn't eaten. She's had soup. Imagine. I've eaten. I've had plenty of cactus ground up to be tequila. <laughs> Hers just grew back looking at it. <laughs> Today is the day of the Shorty Awards. <sighs> Tonight I am nominated along with very hilarious people for YouTube comedian. It's very exciting. Can't wait to support my fellow nominees. It's currently 1.30, 1.25, and in approximately three hours I will be replaced with nothing but nerves. That's typically how it goes. That's how it went the first time I went to the Shorty Awards. And the Shorty Award for Best Vine Comedian goes to two winners, we have two winners, we have a tie. Our first winner, Michaela Long, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, okay. I just have to say, everybody that was nominated is the best, most hilarious ever. Really, I love them all so much. I am so happy, thank you. <laughs> I'll joke my way through it, it'll be fine. Maybe I'll get a cocktail. This is my date. <laughs> we have to get all dressed up. This is one of those fun dress up occasions. I'm feeling like fungus from Monster Zinc. Can I see it? Holy ow. It whispers things to me. <laughs> Hopefully it will tell me the answers during my interviews. <laughs> Thank you, I'm scared. You're welcome. You know what song's playing in my head right now? Huh. <laughs> well, got my eyes to water on that one. Can you imagine eating without pain? This is so fun right now. I'm chewing freely. Oh my gosh. I'm emotional. <laughs> Want to go numb with me? I was <laughs> Should I try some too? Let's do it together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put this medicine on my nerves tonight. You should. You should. With that and under a cocktail, it'll be unstoppable. <laughs> Thank everybody else that was nominated for like losing. You're welcome. 
Congratulations to Mac Does It. I had so much fun with you as my date. I had so much fun with you. I can't believe it was your date. I'm shook. How much would you have cringed if I had to go up on stage and start talking? Zero percent. I would have cheered you on and been a fool. I would have been that girl yelling. I was ready and preparing myself. The same thing that I did for Noelle, I would have done for you, but like five times as hard. It's probably a good thing you didn't win. <laughs> you just, you going up there too. <laughs> <laughs> I love that we got to see Tiny Meat Gang win. Honestly, same. This was the best night I've ever had in a minute. This was a magical night. How did we not realize this sooner? We are literally the female versions of Dumb and Dumber tonight. We're cosplaying tonight. <laughs> Sis, I can't really, I don't know what you're talking about. I then enlightened her. <laughs> Wait. Apparently our looks were so inspiring that Kylie and Kendall couldn't help but recreate them the following day at the Met Gala. And the cherry on top of tonight, SpaghettiOs. These are hitting the spot. What was that, D? What was that? <laughs> Picture this during Noelle Miller's speech for accepting the Tiny Me Gang podcast award. You just hear Diana's ass in the background. I love you. No, I said we love you as an You ex. said we love you? Yeah. I'm what? included. Duh. I wanted him to know it was us. <laughs> And he, you were so loud that he had no choice but to say thank you. I'm so embarrassed. Play it, play it, play it. Uh, my co-host and friend Cody can't be here. Um, thank you. Uh, it's <laughs> That's when we won. <laughs> I feel so accomplished. Yes, you should. Bye, beautiful hotel room. <laughs> Let's see if we remember how to do this. Okay. a story about a girl named Lucky. Early morning. Nah. <laughs> she doesn't wake up. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally you.